So I'm not sure if you've seen it, but Outer Base is a really cool way to view, edit, query, and visualize your data using AI. You can connect to a variety of different databases and use AI to ask and run SQL without having to write any SQL. It's really cool. And if that sounds interesting, follow along in the video to learn how. I already have an Outer Base account, so I've just logged in. Make sure to sign up if you haven't already. Once you're logged in, we'll walk through connecting a different database and how we can use OuterBase to create our own database, as well as looking at an existing read-only demo base that OuterBase gives us for free. So if we open the demo database here, here we can see like many other tools for visualizing data that we have all of our different tables and columns that we can browse and interact with. So if you use something like Prisma Studio, PHP My Admin, or anything like a headless CMS or Airtable, this UI is gonna feel very, very familiar. And I absolutely love it. It is amazing because of the AI. And if we go to the right and we click this AI button, here we can ask any questions about our database. Using natural language, we can ask our database anything with the power of AI. So why don't we ask it to show me the top 25 movie titles released in the last five years? And because our database has that data, it is now gonna perform a query to get all of those results. We can also create a chart so we can come back and visualize this later. And here we'll just call this top movies in last five years. Now we can save that and at any point we can return and we can click on that query and rerun that. So if more movies are added to our database, we can re-execute this query at any point and we can get all of the different results here. Now, of course, if we wanted to execute a new query, we could write our SQL but we could just use AI. Now we'll ask to break down the movies by genre as a pie chart. And using that question, Outerbase has transformed that automatically into SQL and then generated a pie chart for us. If this was something we wanted to keep track of, again, we can add this to our dashboard and we can save this so we can retrieve it later, which is really cool. There are lots more things that you can do in Outerbase that you're familiar if you've used other tools, things like filtering, ordering, sorting, and of course, editing the structure of your columns. Now let's create a new base and connect to an existing database. I'm going to be using Terso in this example because I'm using SQLite in production. So I can head on over to Terso and authenticate my account. Then when I'm returned to Outerbase, I can choose from a list of all of my different databases that I want to use inside of Outerbase. Once you've found the database that you want to connect, you can select that and click connect. You can then customize the name of the base. We'll just keep this as the database name. And we get some confetti to show that everything is working successfully. Really cool. But now in the table explorer, I can see a list of all of my carts that are inside of my database. And these carts and cart items tables are what's inside of Terso instead of my SQL like database. And if I wanted to, I could open the structure of this and I could add a new column. So far we have ID, email and total item columns, but it would be nice to modify our database to add a column for the subtotal. And for the data type, we'll choose a number. Then if we need to, we can specify whether this is a foreign key and we can choose the schema in which that relates to. In this case, there is none. We could also specify whether this is a primary key and whether this is your unique and whether this is nullable. We'll leave the defaults there and click save. And we can see that here we have a new column subtotal of the type integer, but we haven't yet committed these to our database. So let's do that. If we click save, now we have a new column that is subtotal. And if we go back to our data, we'll now see that we have the ID, email, total items, and the subtotal that is null. If I wanted to update the subtotal, I can go inside of here and I can update the amount. And when I'm happy, I can click save and this will update that row inside of my database that is hosted with Terso, which is really cool. Let's update the subtotal here for one order to be 10 and we'll add a new row. And here we'll add another cart for a, another user. And we'll specify that the total items is one here and the subtotal will be 20. Now, if we save and commit this to the database, now that we've updated the rows for our carts table, why don't we use outer base to ask a question that is the total of all subtotals in our carts table? So if we go to AI and we ask our database a question, 
give me the total of all cart subtotals and we let that run. This will then make a request to our database. We can now see that we have the output of total cart subtotals inside of this panel here, that is 30. And that is the subtotal 10 plus 20 is now here. And we haven't had to write a single line of SQL. We've just been able to ask questions to the AI. So I think this is really powerful and it's certainly gonna change the way that I work with my databases in the future. Hopefully you found this video interesting and in how you can use AI with any of your databases. If you wanna try out Outerbase, you can do so by using some of their sample data, uploading a CSV, creating a new SQLite database that they host and connect them to a variety of other databases. It's free to get started, so definitely check it out. If you've liked this kind of content, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you really like to see more of this content, please subscribe. See you in the next one.